Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Silent Hunter 5. Now, where we last left off, uh, the weather conspired to make... Oh, refit, not end the patrol. To make things uh, not so good for the New crew of the Grey Wolf. Three, one, um, eight. Returning to course. New waypoint. Fuel course, here, doing a loop-de-loop. Loop. That's okay. New waypoint. Course two, uh, two, We're gonna head five. back. Bearing two, two, three. New For the waypoint. north. Course one, three, five. And uh, see if we can't find ourselves some more targets to sink. Now, I'm hoping. Slow speed ahead. That the weather. Oh my, I nearly knocked over my coffee, which would have been devastating. Um, I'm hoping the weather isn't as bad as it was last time. You know, actually able to see things and um, acquire targets. That'll be good. It'll be very helpful. And, um, yeah, because otherwise, I mean, if we head up to the north and the weather is garbage, then we will have to head back to... Uh, Wilhelmshaven, I do believe, is the port we are currently based in. Yes. Uh, so we'd be heading back to Wilhelmshaven to um, end the patrol and let some time tick by. But, you know, it's looking like a clear day. Well, clear sky, you know. Um, we got relatively calm seas. It's not raining. It is, you know, visibility's locked a little bit. Of course, it is night. So we'll just have to see how things go uh, in the future. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Got nothing else to say, really, for this intro. So I will be back when I've got something exciting to share with you guys. See y'all in a bit. You know, it's a good thing you can't take damage from allied ships. At least it doesn't seem like you can. Minimum speed ahead. Why this destroyer decided to turn into me, I will never know. But he did. Say Levy. Let's check on the Grey Wolf. Let's make sure. Yeah, so hull integrity's fine. I'm sure if we scraped the side of an English destroyer. That would not be the case. Anyway. <clears throat> Slow speed ahead. Let's get back at it. See you guys when I got some exciting to share. See you in a bit. Alright, so good news. Look at that. It's clear. You can see this I mean it, it's not like a clear summer day that you'd want to that actually be on a boat in the North Sea. But compared to the last time we were out. This is downright beautiful. So, we've taken up position in our usual location. Uh, I'm going to be dropping down, hitting the old hydrophone, seeing if we can hear anything. And then from there, probably uh, patrolling around this area yet again. I know, same old, same old, boring, boring. But when we were here and the weather wasn't, or wasn't beautiful, you know, some might say it was downright disgusting. Minimum speed ahead. Uh, head down a deeper. little deeper. Um, we were still getting contacts. Hey, email, what's up? Get back to your map and uh, I don't even know what's going on there, Yosef. Um, yeah, we were, we were getting contacts. We just couldn't see them or track them down in any way. But Benno was certainly hearing them. So, uh, we know these are good shipping routes. We might as well plop down and see if we can actually get a hold of something that we can see this time, right? Makes sense in my head anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my plan, is to patrol around, see what we can find, and Engage then sink it. Motors. So, depth, one, zero meters. I'll see you guys when I've got something exciting to share. See you in a bit. So we haven't really found anything yet. 
uh, patrolling around here, not even a, a minor sound contact. It's like nothing's coming through here, but I know better than that. Stuff absolutely has to be coming through here. Just wondering if perhaps this side of Faroe Island might be a better location. Of course, I am also tempted to head on in to say, uh, lock you a storm away? That might not, well, no, that is pretty difficult to get into. Well, we've raided this before. And we know that there are usually ships that sit around in there, so it might be worth a look. At the very least, I am kind of uh, curious about the RAF way up in the north here, uh, and this version. New waypoint, course nine. New waypoint, course ten. Of Open Horizons. Let's see. Surface the boat. Slow speed ahead. If they're gonna cause us any issues. Or if we can uh, sneak into ports as we usually do. And sink a whole bunch of stuff that's there, ready, and waiting for us to sink it. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan. Hopefully things go according to it. And I will see you guys more hopefully with some targets to actually blow up. Because there's been a, a severe lack of explosions in this series. I want to make up for that. So, see you guys with something more exciting. You hear that? We got a contact. Considering we're heading into a port, I want to dive a bit more often and uh, make sure we're not picking up on anything. And it certainly sounds like we got a ship just out there. So, um, let's just make sure there's nothing else here. Oh, that one's even closer. Where would you be? Way out there, huh? Okay. What direction are you going? That way, huh? Well, that just works perfectly for me. If we do something like that, maybe even lead it a bit more, we should be able to catch this sucker. So, let's get to the surface. Surface the boat. Let's pick up some Slow speed. speed ahead. And let's see if we can intercept this guy. It's still nice out. Oh, we are still in the TTC as well. Or not the TTC, the hydrophone. We're never going to be using the TDC, are we? Nah. All right. Well, we've got a mission now. Let's go intercept whatever this is. We'll see you guys once we know. See you in a bit. Ha <laughs> ha! We caught something, and it's not the ship over there. It's a completely different one. So, yay! We got potentially two ships to blow up here. Now, oh, I don't know if necessarily... I want to engage this ship on the surface, I think, other other way, this way. Okay, we're going to need some speed to get there. And in fact, if we do something like that instead, we'll probably give us enough time to maneuver into position. Oh yes, look at all of this. Look at all of this stuff. Okay, let's pop up the periscope. And start doing this right. Come on. Come on. Break the surface. Okay. Now. There's our target there. That ship is a whopping one and a half kilometers away from us. Now, hopefully, when he gets to, like, here, he'll still be a good distance. Although, I would imagine... Minimum speed ahead. Kicking up our speed wouldn't be a bad idea. And we can shut oh, those gone. engines off now. And now this guy should be pretty much dead ahead. So I'm thinking this probably isn't that big of a freighter. So we can probably go just under two, three. three and we don't really need to worry about speed or anything like that. Although... 
A quicker death is always best. When they're this close, you might as well. Chances are, this guy's not gonna be Firing to seeing this torpedo come at him. That's the hope, anyway. It's night. We've made no announcement of our presence. So, this should be a relatively straightforward shot. I don't think that's going to be too deep. I could have identified this ship. But, you know what? I'm feeling a little lazy today. I just want to get to the explosions. And something tells me this is going to be an explosion. Now, I probably could have used a torpedo microwaver on this guy, but instead... Torpedo impact. We'll just go for a shot right in the middle. Nice big hole. Yeah, we definitely could have gone a little bit deeper, but I'm not complaining. That's a decent sized hole. That guy's on fire. Now, we may be drawing the attention of these guys. I'm hoping they're just little speed boats with um, machine guns, so we won't have to won't have to worry too much. Now, our torpedo situation should be quite good, and indeed it is. So, the impatient me is to fire off another one. Why not, right? Torpedo right. Set to three meters. So, let's see. Let's see if my little theory here on aiming is going to be correct. Because I waited right to the middle and it hit the middle. So, if we aim for about there, two, two. That, should, that should be a second hit. Although that looks like it's going pretty much amidships as well. We shall see. Oh, maybe not. And I mean, obviously this guy's slowing down. Torpedo impact. Fires in two areas of the ship. I mean, there should be a second big hole there. I'll forgive the game. Perhaps they're too close, and they may as well just render one. Oh, yeah, look at that fireball. Uh, something tells me this ship is dead. Let's check the map, and indeed, indeed, it is. What was she? She was a Rongle small old split for 24 hundred tons not too bad not too bad but you know we could we could probably do better speaking of we got this guy over here now who is a little bit further out but still well within torpedo range if we position ourselves like so Two, one, ready. We All should stop. be able to get this guy too, right? 2,800 meters, 2.8 kilometers. Um, yeah, of course, the minimap is la useless. Oh, there she be. Just barely make her out in the fog. No idea. Well, Set to two mm, meters. she's probably not going to be any smaller than the last ship we sunk, so around three meters should be good, although I suppose we should make that selection on a Torpedo tube that can be meters. fired. So, let's get ourselves a lock and loose that torpedo as quick as we possibly can. And it's got its nice little turn. And now it's going down the catwalk of uh, torpedo routes, basically. So we can speed up time a little bit. Because <clears throat> this does have a ways to go. And I've lost it. Torpedo. You're somewhere out there. No premature detonations yet, so I mean that's good, but of course this is only like the second torpedo we fired, so, you know, 
There it is. All right. Oh, this is no, maybe, maybe this is a bigger ship. I don't know. She could be the same size. Doesn't look like it's laden down with anything, though. Torpedo impact. All right. Now. Yeah, not as big of a hole. We definitely could have gone deeper with her. But, such is life. Um, let's try to reacquire. Oh, where'd you go? There you is. Trying to run from me? I don't think so. Uh, let's go a little bit deeper Torpedo with this one. Again, three full meters. speed, get a lock. Firing two, Fire three. that off. And now we can just side, kinda zoom in quick in the cheaty view and time accelerate the crap out of this torpedo travel and there's the torpedo and it looks like we're gonna clip the nose which is good you know torpedo impact I'll take a nose clip any day of the week and then with those two torpedoes, and this guy should be destined for the bottom as well. It's just gonna take him a little time to do the old sinky maneuver. I don't know. Let's, oh yeah, she dead now too. And that, oh, come on, is a Yukul. 4,000 tons, that's not bad. So, 6,000 tons right there. For four torpedoes, I mean, I don't know. Probably a little bit wasteful, but I'm, I'm not going to complain too much. New waypoint. And course, I'm still going to head to port. Nine, zero. Returning to Minimum course. speed ahead. Surface On the surface. Go. We got our periscope stored. That's all I care about. I'm gonna head on down to the command center. We'll let Dieter... Hang out up top once we surface and get in position. Keep an eye open for these warships. We know. Two, two, ready. <laughs> we know we're operating right there. So we'll just have to do a little sneaky maneuvering to get in. All right. Let's two, one, ready. stop here. Periscope depth. Go under, see if we can get some positioning of these warships and figure out if we want to do some destroyer hunting or if we just want to go straight into port. I'm thinking probably a little bit of destroyer hunting. It's been a while since we've given the Royal Navy a bloody nose. We might as well do that today. So let's get under. Shut down diesel engines. Current depth, one, zero. Meters. Let's All shut stop. down the engines. Alright, so we got a guy right in front of us, basically. And there's there's potentially a lot of ships right in front of us. We'll see if Benno can pick him up. And then as someone has repeatedly commented on Season 2 that I should use this periscope more often, well, there you go. I can't do anything about it in Season 2, but we'll use the Observation Periscope now. I'm so glad I did this. Um, so we got no visual contact on those ships we can hear. Uh, how's our battery power doing? It should be fairly well. 75%! I don't know if I want to keep going on batteries just yet then. Surface the boat. Let's get to the Minimum surface. Speed ahead. Well, Slow maybe two. Ahead. We can afford to go two. Recharging batteries. Now we should be getting close. I mean, obviously we're getting close, but we should be getting, you know, visual range or something, or something. That's uh, that's not specific enough at all. Why didn't that periscope go down? Engage so many questions I have. One, zero. Meters. 
I guess it's going down? I don't know. Maybe because my face was stuck on it, it couldn't go all the way down. That could, that could be. Let's I'll stop. cut our engines. That guy's definitely... What, what kind of route is he going? We got a an actual target that we'd want to see there. We got a nice freighter in the port, which is, of course, good news. Let's pop up the targeting periscope. Ho ho ho! That's not a destroyer. Closing tube three. Torpedo depth set to three meters. That's a big ass ship I apparently can't target yet. New contact, warship moving fast, closing, bearing three, three, seven, medium range. What do we got? So there is a machine gun boat. We don't got to worry about that guy. I mean, I'm sure hitting it with a torpedo would be spectacular. At least I think it is. It might be just outside of visual range and is still a destroyer. I don't know. But considering we're zoomed in all the way and it's just a tiny little speck. I think that's just a, a machine gun boat. Which is... Oh. Oh. We got two of these guys here? Okay. What we're going to want to do is try to get ourselves in a slightly better shooting position here. Minimum speed ahead. Okay, that'll do. I'll stop. I just care about pointing the right direction stop. We're approaching our for these guys waypoint. as they pass. Yeah. So, I'm thinking these guys, because they're showing up as... Uh, well, maybe they weren't. Maybe they were showing up as freighters. I don't know. I don't, I mean, that's something the captain should know. But I am fine. We can go a little bit deeper. Admitting my ignorance here. Let's wait just a little bit here. Do we not? Can I? Hmm. Okay, let me try something. We got a little bit of time. And F-12 didn't seem to do anything, so... Torpedo Man! Oh, no! Preheating torpedoes has gone off. We just, we can't see it up top there. That's fine. I can survive. Yeah, Dieter! Way to, to give me a fist bump there as I go past. Let's get back in the periscope. All right. Well, the torpedoes are preheated. Suppose I could... Hmm. I want to try and get these... As good as I can. 500 meters. Like, I'm thinking if we fire off the fast one on the further target, target right? And then we take this Torpedo depth at slow speed and go two. after him. Well, it looks like this guy's speeding up. So hopefully our torpedo can slow him down. I mean, hitting him in the rear section is definitely a good way to slow him down. No question about that. Now, of course, these guys know somebody's here. But thankfully, both torpedoes hit. And so now it's just going to be a matter of sinking these guys. Now, this guy, he ain't going nowhere. Propeller's gone. Rear's on fire. That's great news. This guy... 
propeller has stopped and he is also on fire so ladies and gentlemen we got an extremely good situation that ship's already down I'm happy that means to sink this guy we just need one torpedo more torpedo deck. set to three meters tracking new target two three Lost. and that should put this guy out of his misery now he shouldn't be able to maneuver and indeed it doesn't look like he can so that'll be one torpedo in the front one in the torpedo rear impact. i likes it a lot no holes underneath the waterline. That's okay. Those two are dead. That that should add to the old tonnage bar. No question about it. Stupid Greek name armed merchant cruiser at 11,000 tons. And I think that's going to be times two. No, that is a rural pindy armed merchant. So we got two armed merchants. 16,000 tons. Woo! Woo! That's not bad. You know what? I'm feeling pretty good about today compared to last week. Let's get our periscope down and let's GTFO. Um, out. I think we've done enough damage here. We've, uh, we've definitely got a situation on torpedoes, but that's okay. We can slide our reserve in and, uh, Once I feel like we're clear enough from this situation, Tube one, ready. Surface the boat. we Recharging can get on the battery. surface. We can get out of the periscope view, in fact. No, no, no. No, no, no. You're going up. Up, up, up. Ah, uh, yeah. No, we don't need to be going this quickly. We can shut Low that speed down. Ahead. To speed two. Lovely. We'll pull this torpedo in, get it loaded into tube three, and we'll have a full load of torpedoes ready and waiting for the next ship we come across. But, for now, I'm just going to go and find ourselves some new targets. So see you guys in a bit. All right, well, I came down here. Uh, to the north of Ireland because I know that this little tick thing when I signed up for the mission told me to go here. So I came down here. There's nothing here. I did a, a little scoot around. Couldn't find anything other than fishing boats. And I, I don't know. I don't feel like shooting fishing boats today. We got 66% fuel left. We got the four torpedoes. I think it's not a bad idea to just plot a course back for Wilhelmshaven and call this mission uh, New done. Course Base, well, not New mission, course but this patrol done anyway because New waypoint. Course um, one zero three. it's probably New waypoint. Course not a bad idea to return home, two. cash in on all our renown, get New some waypoint. training course points one for the crew. Zero two. All of those New wonderful waypoint. things. One, zero, two. New waypoint. That course, should take us one, zero, home two. nicely. Now, of course, we do have enough munitions on board, so if we see anything along the way that might present a juicy, juicy target, we will take it. But otherwise, yeah, it's it's time to go home, get some fresh ham, get some fresh salami, get some fresh bananas, and uh, let the crew stretch their legs properly let them have a shower let them go to the pub all these things that crews need to do so um yeah i will see you guys if something exciting happens along the way otherwise we'll be back in port before you know it see you guys in a bit my timing couldn't be better december 24th 1939 we're back in port how lovely is that, guys? You're on land for Christmas. This is perfect. All right. Well, we're going to have to give this a save and a reload. So I will see you guys uh, when we actually get back into port and see if we can throw any upgrades on the old Grey Wolf. See you guys in a bit. 
All right, we're back in port. I'm a little concerned that the Grey Wolf doesn't have her Tiger Stripes anymore. Where'd you go? There. What did you do to my ship? Apparently we need upgrades. Sure. What do you want? I uh, know it's still selected. So... I don't know. Maybe they'll show up in a bit. Uh, we got nothing there. Conning Tower is fine. Deck gun is fine. The flat guns can't be upgraded. Sure thing. Okay. What do you have in mind? Let's just go equip all the steam torpedoes we can. That steam in the rear. Lovely. All Thank right. you, sir. I'll have them units loaded onto your back. Welcome back, back And if we got in, any new missions to accept? Let's see. No, nope, still just that one, so we will request that mission. At least that's sending us to a location that makes sense to me for the mission objective and not way down off the coast of Ireland. We'll just have to remember between Iceland and the Faroe Islands. That's where we need to head to engage any enemy task force in the general area. And uh, I'm going to leave the episode here for today. So, Thumbs up if you have enjoyed today's episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, to fail, to complete, that hasn't changed. A couple more incompletes. We're sitting at 263,073 tons. That's not bad at all. Also, interestingly enough, We've sunk double the merchant ships as our warship count. That's not bad. We're giving it to the Royal Navy and to the Merchant Marines. Um, as we should be. So thank you all very much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.